I want to talk about three important thinkers. Each of them entered a debate that marked a turning point. A slow shift in how philosophy understood meaning, truth, and the fragile architecture of language itself. But more than that, these debates unfolded alongside the maturation of psychology toward the very models that would later inspire the neural networks now shaping artificial intelligence. Those thinkers are Carnap, Quine, and Kripik, and those are their works, the ones relevant here. Carnap believed that knowledge could be built like a structure, rule by rule, layer by layer. For him, language was a machine of reduction, where the form of a statement determined its empirical path. Two expressions with the same syntactic form should never lead to different consequences. That's what he called non-bifurcation or non-forkability, the dream that science could grow cumulatively, leaving metaphysics behind as noise outside the system. Then came Quine, and the ground began to move. He showed that meaning doesn't follow a single route. It spreads. It's a web of interdependent beliefs, where even the link between a scientific law and the facts that support it is never fixed or unique. Shift one belief and the entire network rearranges itself. That's his holism, a world where revision replaces reduction. And then came Kripik, revisiting Tarski's idea of defining truth from above in a meta-language that explains the lower one. Kripik noticed Real languages don't stay above themselves. They fold back, refer to their own sentences, and demand self-stability instead of hierarchy. That point of stabilization, the fixed point, becomes an anchor of meaning. Truth is not declared from outside anymore. It emerges from within the system. So if you think about it, that's what we now call AI learning. Systems that adjust themselves, revise their own outputs, and seek a state of equilibrium, like neural networks reaching convergence. They too fold inward, anchoring stability through iteration. So from Carnap's reduction to Quine's revision to Kripik's anchors of truth, and finally to AI's loops of learning, the movement traces how thinking itself learned to balance between order and change.